of border integrity, national sovereignty. Those are, those are issues that resonate in South Carolina in addition to economic recovery, although Governor Haley's done a really good job uh, for us there. And as people get to know Senator Rubio better, um, and, um, and they hear where he is on the issues, I think he's, he's going to rise. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Um, Governor Haley said, Ask voters not to um, follow the siren call of the angriest. You get Donald Trump, Ted Cruz lead in South Carolina. How do you get voters to, at this point, to go away from those angry candidates and to look at maybe some other candidates in this well, race? I don't want to necessarily agree with the premise of your question because I suggest that Trump and Cruz are the angry candidates. So I, I, that's not for me to judge. I think people are frustrated and they are upset with the direction of the country. It's not just me thinking that. Every poll indicates that. Um, and I, I think Senator Rubio, to me, does a really good job of confronting the issues that have people upset, but he does it in an aspirational, hopeful, persuasive way. And for me, as an old, tired, washed-up litigator, I like that. I like the fact that he's persuasive. Because we'll get, look, look, I'll, give you, I'll give you a piece of news nobody else knows. We're going to win South Carolina in 2016 no matter what. The Republicans are going to win South Carolina. We have to win in Colorado and Iowa and Ohio and Florida and Virginia and North Carolina and Wisconsin and states that could go either way. And so I put a high premium on the ability to persuade. And, and I think Marco is the most persuasive on the issues that I care most about. If for some reason Donald Trump or Ted Cruz wins the nomination, what do you do to try to convince women, minorities, to vote Republican? The lessons that, were, that people said the party needed to learn from 2012. Well, um, I, sometimes, every now and again, people's general election messages are a little different than their primary messages. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but sometimes that happens from time to time. And I, I know plenty of, of, of women um, who support uh, both the candidates you just mentioned. And quite frankly, no Republican candidate does fantastically well with people of color, including Tim Scott, who is a person of color. So. Um, I like to look in the mirror first to see how I can do a better job uh, and speak to, to, to groups that haven't uh, consistently uh, thought that we cared enough about them to talk to them. I will tell you this, um, when I go with Senator Rubio to places and he talks to the audience, I've never not seen him also go in the back and talk to the people who just waited on the audience. Uh, so you have to ha have the conversation before you can be persuasive. And because of Marco's upbringing, he's not a person of privilege. Uh, he grew up tough, like a lot of the people that he's trying to reach. Um, I think he's uniquely well positioned to do it. Congressman, Congressman does Senator Rubio really have to win one of the early three states in order no. to win the nomination? No. Congressman, as an ex-litigator, do you think that Ted Cruz might effectively shut down a conversation or arguments about whether or not he's eligible to be president? I actually don't even think you have to be that good of a litigator to know that that, that law was settled 100 years ago. Um, I actually found that whole thing interesting. I'm not sure anybody else in the audience did. I, I like legal arguments, but the Supreme Court made that determination 100 years ago. And, and to the extent anything is settled law, um, that is settled law. So. If he wants to hire a lawyer to go have a declaratory judgment, my thought was, well, then that'll be appealed, and then that'll be appealed, and ultimately he's going to go to the Supreme Court, which, interestingly enough, has already ruled on the issue. So, I, I don't... Do you I, think he effectively shut down? The I'm not really sure it wasn't shut down. I, 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 no one in my circle is concerned about that from a legal standpoint. So, whatever circles were concerned about that, they don't have to speak for it. I, I have always viewed it to be so did, did you think that Senator Cruz effectively came back on the top of the Senate? Whenever, whenever you've been accused of a litany of uh, flip-flops and you say half of that's not true, it leads me to believe that half of it may be true. So, <laughs> look, Senator Cruz is a, is a brilliant litigator, a really, really smart lawyer, and I'm sure he can defend himself and he doesn't need me to do it, but I think it is fair when you are in the process of highlighting other people's uh, positions that may have changed, um, to have your own position changed highlight. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's fair. That's politics. Uh, that's contrast. That's what the voters want. And if 
uh, Santa Cruz has ever labeled Edward Snowden as a hero, um, then it's fair for people to know that. Congressman, 